Obviously, as you saw from that uh, video, which was uh, wonderfully voiced by uh, his mother, Sue, um, there has been uh, quite a journey for uh, Cameron to go through. And you've crossed paths with uh, many people along the way. Uh, I would have loved to have been there, able to help in some way. I hope the evening is a great success and good luck to the Cameron Foster Foundation. That is Lord uh, Sebastian Coe. Uh, I first met Cameron in 2010 when I was the Chief Executive of the Diana Award and Cameron received the Diana Award for his outstanding contribution to fundraising and volunteering after being nominated by Wesley High School. The Diana Award is a prestigious award set up in the memory of the late Princess Diana. None of you here tonight will therefore be surprised that Cameron is a Diana Award holder and held in high esteem and admiration by the Diana Award team and organisation. I have felt privileged to watch his progress and witness how he continues to inspire others. The Cameron Foster Foundation is a pinnacle to his meteoric rise and I don't doubt other pinnacles even higher will be climbed and conquered by Cameron. He is a giant amongst giants with love, congratulations and good wishes. Maggie Turner, OBE. Uh, a round of applause finally for Cameron Foster. Do stay there, do stay there. There aren't any more surprises, but I think it's important that you are seeing the man that it's all about uh, this evening. Obviously, we're supporting an extremely important... Evening, Cam. Um, well, Evening, Lord, from Turkey. Can we hear from Freddie Flint? That sounds like yes. vision, to be honest. Um, but good luck tonight. I'm sure tonight's going to be a great success, Cameron. When I met you, I knew you'd do something special, and this is just the start of it. I'm sure everyone will support your foundation and help to change the lives of a lot of people. Hopefully it goes well, despite having had an 11th out. Um, I'm sure it'll be all right. But good luck. We're all proud of you. I'm sure your family are too. Have a great night. But dig deep, everyone. Cheers. So we do also have a, a special announcement to make. And it concerns Samantha uh, at the end there. Uh, we all know that your dreams are to become a, a champion wheelchair racer. Uh, to be a success, it not only takes a lot of time and training, preparations, uh, as we've uh, talked about, but also it takes a lot of money uh, as well. Specialist equipment, travel, vitally important, uh, competition fees, just a few of the expenses that are needed to become an elite athlete. Extremely tough, as you, I'm sure you can understand, to find uh, the money every year. Now, the uh, Cameron Foster Foundation would like to announce you as the first beneficiary of the charity and provide you with a year's grant of funding to help you achieve your own and your dreams of hopefully getting to Rio 2016. I'm sure, as these two are as well, you're an incredible role model uh, to the people out there and to uh, other young people. It's a great start to the uh, Cameron Foster Foundation and hopefully we're going to continue that legacy on all the way through to Rio 2016 and beyond. So, Samantha, very, very well done. Congratulations. Well, I'm just going to winter training, so... <laughs> A lot of hard work, hopefully. Yeah, next year, obviously, I'll have the Commonwealth Games and then hopefully the Europeans, but I hope, I hope to meddle in. Um, but, you know, you can follow me on Facebook. I'm on Facebook and things like that. But, you know, um, just the support is amazing. To know that people are, you know, cheering on you, that's really all you need. Even Graham said that. To know, to think back and, you know, say, when you can think that you're making people proud, that really pushes you on the start line and, you know, you're really making it. But, now, obviously, thank you're you very much. You're Thank you very much to, to Samantha. Obviously, you're going to have a lot of support in Glasgow at the Commonwealth Games, but you can guarantee that everyone here, all three of you as well, are going to be right behind you for the remainders of your careers and also your future career as well. So a round of applause for our three athletes here uh, this evening. And the winner is Mike Coleman on table number 19. Mike Coleman, do you want to come up and collect your prize? Well, next one is a signed photo of Andrew Flintoff, who has uh, been a big supporter of the Cameron Foster Foundation. There it is. And the winner is Anne Barton on table number four. <laughs> well done to Anne Barton. Yeah, you hold on to that. Right, number three is a signed book from table number two. So we have a £100 bid. Who wants to take us up a notch from £100 for this signed Andrew Flintoff photograph? What do you want to take it up by, sir? We've got £100. 
200 pounds. Thank you very much, sir. On table number... Table number one. Is there anyone? 400 pounds we have now for the signed Andrew Clintoff photograph on table number two. Wonderful work. Are we going to see an advance on £500 now? This is really setting the bar high. £500. Any advance on £500 anywhere in the room? Are we all done? Is there a nod? Is there a wink? Is there a raise of the finger? Or is there a little advance on to £700? Thank you very much to table number one. I tried to explain it about the Saturday matinees. We used to go to one, and they used to have cereals on and empty. And you remember him, Flash Gordon? Anybody remember him? Yeah? He's still alive, he's 98, and uh, they just call him Gordon now. 